Hello and welcome to lesson five of my vanilla Doom editing series. This one is dealing with the tips and tricks found in Doom editing. And this is basically going to be an overview of different uh, things that people have done over the years, like 3D bridges and whatnot, and and special features like the Episode 1 Mission 8 stair building trick, which is the first thing we'll be working on. So go ahead and go into File, New Map, start a new map up. Uh, map of 1, okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and create a 512 I have 512 room here. Okay. And, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a platform off to the side. About 192, 192, off in the middle of this wall here. Okay. And I'm going to make this go into 3D mode here. Actually, I'll wait. Um, okay, go ahead and make some staircase. Okay, I messed that up. Hang on. 128 by 32 on the staircase. Three. And we'll go ahead and make five stairs. Okay, go into 3D mode, and let's see, here's the thing right here. So we'll go ahead and build one stair at a time. Okay, there's one. Go ahead and build these stairs up. Okay, there we go. Now what we need to do is go ahead and texture them. So I'll go ahead and use um, this texture right here just because there's a floor and a wall of that same texture and that is going to be metal 2 for the wall or metal 1 for the wall and then go ahead and copy paste that all around and put that on the stairs okay and there we go with that I'll go ahead and make this a nice little tech green so we can see it better Oops. Um, I'll go ahead and brighten this up to 192 just so you can see it, see what's going on. Alright, and paste this down here. Replace that with the brown. Alright, there you go. We have our staircase built. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and lower that back to the floor so it's reset to the floor that way it can raise. Um, Okay, now with that, uh, you got to make sure that all of these stairs right here are pointing towards the front side, or else they're not going to raise properly. So it's like raising this one, and then bam, it hits this line, then it raises this one, bam, hits this line, raises this one, bam, hits this line, and so on and so forth until it gets to the last one, which is already up at the top and it ain't going to raise. So what we'll go ahead and do now is make a switch that lets us do this so go ahead and come in here make a 32 by 8 go into 3d mode raise it um, 32 units just a simple switch SW1 com is the texture we're looking for and move that over 15 by 18 and there we go and we'll just go ahead and have a Sean for this the other sides of the switch on the top and it doesn't really matter okay there we go now we got a complete metal switch now we gotta get that switch to make the stair rise so we'll go ahead and flip this line def because you can only use press use on a line def that's facing out select action and it's gonna be stairs stair SW1 switch 1 uh, raise by 8 hit ok make sure you sector tag it for 1 sector tag this one make sure we put a player start in there so we can test it out and give me just a second I gotta reconfigure my uh, engine thing 
Okay, so here we are in game. Um, let's go ahead and come over here, press the switch, and you'll see that each stair rises just like it's supposed to. There we go. And that's basic doing the uh, mission uh, episode one, mission eight, stair building, and it's pretty simple. So the next thing I want to show you is uh, a trick that lets you make a floor glow. Like, well, go ahead and make a lava pit here. Um, and it's going to make it where the ceiling doesn't have that same light. And I'll go ahead and show you an example of both so you get the idea. Um, we'll go ahead and make a room on the outside of this. It's going to be 384 by 192. Actually, we'll make this by 320 as well. Or 320. Go ahead and make a pit here, a lava pit. Alright, go into 3D mode and we'll go ahead and actually make it a pit. And okay, there's a lava. And we'll go ahead and texture this with some kind of texture. Doesn't really matter. I just put something on there. Okay, now that's textured, and we'll want to go ahead and make this glow. So we'll go ahead and um, drop the brightness around it just so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Drop that down to 128 and brighten this 208. Okay, now that's brightened. Alright, so get out of 3D mode and test play. And this is just to show you what uh, what it looks like here. That You see how we got the bottom glowing, right? And we have the ceiling glowing as well. But let's say we don't want that ceiling glowing right there, and then we just want that to look like the floor's glowing instead of it actually hitting the ceiling. So we'll go ahead and get, quit that. And what we're going to do is raise, actually raise this ceiling um, about 64. So, um, okay, right there. Now get it out of that um, test plate again now that we rose the ceiling again it's going to automatically complete, complete what the ceiling looks like and you can see there which I didn't raise it enough <laughs> let me try this again and we'll go ahead and raise that up there okay 400 alright let's try that alright and you can see here you can barely see it that looking on the ceiling that there is no uh, glow there's just a glow on the floor now there's no ceiling glow so that's just a quick uh, demonstration on how you can get rid of the and, and you know I can see it still but if I wanted to I could raise it even higher and not even have to worry about seeing it just a little trick to make it where it looks like the floor is glowing and not the ceiling Okay. So the next trick I wanted to show you real quick is a way to suddenly spawn monsters. All right, now to do this, I'm going to go ahead and complete this hallway out, put it uh, stretch it out to about uh, 768. That's fine. And we're going to make another room here on the end of this. Um, and go ahead and something good like that okay and complete the room off there okay and I'm gonna go ahead and make this even because I'm a perfectionist apparently alright um now what we're gonna do is instantly make monsters spawn which is not really making them spawn but more along the lines of making them um, pop out of the ground really quickly so it looks like as if they just right appear right out of nowhere so what we're gonna do is make these 32 by 32 blocks here and we'll put one here, and we'll make another one here. Um, and we'll go ahead and put an imp in this thing. Um, coming down here, monsters, imp. And we want to make sure he's facing the player that way, and make him deaf, so he doesn't hear your gunshots when you enter the room. Kind of surprise you more. Alright, now what we're going to do, actually we should go ahead and combine those for simplicity's sake. Select those two, hit the merge, the join sector. Hit it again. Okay, go, in, go into 3D mode. Come down here. Okay, there's the things. 
lower those down a good, let's see, it's at 48, a good to negative 128. You can put it pretty much as low as you want. I mean, I'd have it lower than like 64 units or you'll see the imp heads and you don't want to see that. So with that done, I'll go ahead and come in here and I'm going to change this line def here so when the player walks in this room these th floors will go up and the way to do that is to select it right click it select action actually it's just line def action 19 is what the line def action is and that's going to be um, walk once floor lowers the highest floor and now what's that saying is the floor is going to lower to the highest floor around it which would normally be under what floor it's going to but since it's above it makes an error and it just jumps it straight up to the top so hit OK and the end it will be a lot more helpful when we learn how to do uh, the 3D bridges and stuff like that which I'm probably going to show in a part two of this lesson okay so hit I'll go ahead and make this two because we already used one and put these as sector tag two and we'll go ahead and test play that out. Okay, so here we are. We'll go ahead and hit our switch there so that loads up. And our 3D floor, our th 3D thing where it doesn't, um, not a 3D floor, our uh, light that doesn't show on the ceiling. Come over here. Okay, now walk through this here and wham, they pop up. So it's just a little feature you can make it to like instantly have monsters within the room and just have them spawn and freak out the player kind of thing. Okay, so that's about it for this lesson. Um, next lesson is going to cover uh, fake 3D bridges, uh, making an, a 3D bridge, uh, recremium rec style, and it's also going to have um, fake slopes and swinging doors. And that's about it for this lesson. See you next one.